Now, what about telomeres? The telomeres are the protective caps on the end of our DNA. It's in our chromosome, our genetic material. And it's like the, the plastic tips of at the end of a shoelace. The rejuvenator. You'll love the way it makes you feel. Welcome back to the Longevity Deprocess channel. Have you ever wondered what the secret is to living a long and healthy life? The answer might lie at the very tips of your chromosomes. In this video, we'll be exploring the fascinating world of stem cell telomeres with Dr. William Lee, a renowned physician and author of Eat to Beat Disease. Dr. Lee isn't just any doctor. He's a champion for preventative healthcare, focusing on how food choices can impact our well-being. Today, we'll be delving into the science of telomeres, those tiny caps on our chromosomes that play a crucial role in aging. As we age, these stem cell telomeres naturally shorten. But the good news is, there might be ways to slow that process down. Dr. Lee will be revealing three surprising drinks that research suggests can actually help lengthen stem cell telomeres. We'll explore the science behind why telomeres are important and how these specific beverages can potentially impact our longevity. So, grab your favorite mug and get ready to discover the delicious path to potentially living a longer, healthier life. Before we reveal the telomere lengthening drinks, Dr. Lee will describe why these stem cell telomeres plastic caps are so vital to our health. Oh, a quick favor. We'd greatly appreciate it if you can subscribe and like. This helps the YouTube algorithm recognize the value of our content and share it more widely. Now, you know that plastic cap helps us not only um, tie our shoelaces, but it protects it from damage. So that if you actually damage or lose that plastic cap, what happens? Your shoelace starts to unravel. And now, man, you got to rethread that that shoelace, it's a, it's a, it's a real pain. And that's, and it starts to unravel and, and, and your, your whole lace becomes frazzled. And that's when that actually happens to our DNA, we are in trouble. So that plastic tip, that cap of our DNA is called the telomere. And as we age and as our cells age, that telomere cap burns down like the few, like a fuse, like a candle. So I call it a life fuse. The shorter it gets, the sooner that cell is getting older and aging and becoming damaged. So we want to actually slow down that burn. And in fact, we want to increase the length of that. Uh, we want to keep it longer we can, right? So reverse cellular aging, not just a slogan. We've been able to study this using real science. Um, and the science of the telomere, by the way, won a Nobel Prize. The, you know, the, the researcher um, Elizabeth Blackburn um, in California, won a Nobel Prize for her work studying the telomere. So um, there's a lot of foods that can actually influence our telomere. Now that we are equipped with the knowledge of why stem cell telomeres are so important, Dr. Lee will now tell what the first stem cell telomere lengthening drink is. I'm just about to serve afternoon tea. What are those top three foods that help uh, lengthen the telomeres? Green tea is one of them. Um, green tea. Dr. Lee will now tell us what it is about green tea that can positively affect your stem cell telomeres. From a sort of researcher's perspective, there are thousands of natural chemicals. We call them bioactives because they act, they, they interact with our biology. And um, some of the compounds that are natural chemicals are like catechins, gallic acid, uh, theanine and theoflavins. And they all wind up in a cup of tea when you brew it. Um, and um, some of the amazing things that have been shown by research is that drinking tea uh, actually can uh, help prevent our cells from aging. So it's even has a, I'm sure the emperor didn't have the science, but appreciated that anti-aging properties of tea prevents our telomeres from shortening. So we stay, our cells stay younger, slow down cellular aging. I drink nothing but green tea now. Dr. Lee will now reveal the second drink can positively affect your stem cell telomeres. Is that a dark roast I smell? One of them is coffee. Turns out that drinking like black coffee slows down, not only slows down the burn of the telomere, so it protects the cap, it actually lengthens the cap. It reverses cellular aging. So that's kind of a crazy thing, right? Like you think about, you know, coffee, I mean, everybody, kind of just swigs down their morning joe um uh don't doesn't really think much about it but really coffee which again coffee beans picked and roasted um you know we we think about it like driving to the going to the drive through to get it but you know traditional societies really understood there was something special about these beans and that's what science is doing we're coming back to rediscover what the benefits are and one of the things that coffee can do it slows down the burn it increases 
the life fuse um, uh, that called the telomere uh, of our cells. Uh, coffee, coffee, coffee. Um, hot chocolate for dawn. The third drink is a beverage that comes from a plant that is native to South America. Hot chocolate, please. Which includes all dark chocolate. It turns out that some foods, and I, I thought this was so cool, you know, when I got into the research, some foods actually stimulate stem cells to come out of your bone marrow to help improve healing. Now, what are some of those foods? Well, nobody's going to um, protest when I tell you that one of the most powerful foods that stimulates regeneration in your stem cells is dark chocolate. Dark chocolate, cacao, cacao flavanols. Now, you know, chocolate is a confection. It's made in a candy factory, a chocolate factory. But if you, and it's got sugar and all kinds of other stuff. So again, depends on what you put in it, but dark chocolate is mostly cacao. Cacao comes out of an orange bean. Now, let's see, it's a seed pod. It's a bright orange, and then later on it turns brown when it matures. And it's got all these little seeds in it. It's cacao nibs, okay? That's the real deal. And when you have dark chocolate, it's really, really rich with cacao. It's got fiber in it, which is good for our microbiome. It's got these polyphenols in it and really good dark chocolate. You don't have to have it as a candy bar, chocolate bar. You can also even mix it into um, like hot chocolate, for example. You can make a cacao drink. And that's how the traditional uh, Incas and Peruvians actually had their cacao. Like the ancient societies that understood the power of cacao had it as kind of like uh, as a beverage, like like, a, like the coffee, the chocolate ritual you hear about, right? Um, so turns out studies have been done in people, even in their 60s, who have heart disease and they need more regeneration. They need more stem cells. So what do you do? You actually measure, take a blood, six times of blood out, measure their stem cells. Then you give them dark chocolate in the form of hot chocolate and have them drink it twice a day, just eight fluid ounces. You know, that's, that's not very much. It's a little bit more than this. Um, down the hatch, polyphenols in the body. And for 30 days, okay, um, then they measure their stem cells again on an individual basis. And guess what? The dark chocolate doubles the number of stem cells coming out of bone marrow into your circulation for regeneration. So now what about, so cells are interesting, but it doesn't make a difference in terms of your body function. Turns out they actually measured blood flow using a test called flow mediated dilation. And flow mediated dilation is where you actually do a blood pressure cuff and you blow up the blood pressure cuff, it squeezes the circulation so your arm feels a little numb. Now you use an ultrasound probe to take a look at your blood flow and then you release the cuff. Turns out the people who had the dark chocolate had double the re responsiveness, um, uh, the healthy responsiveness of their blood flow as well. So improved blood flow, double the number of stem cells coming out of dark chocolate. You know, who, who doesn't think that's a good thing, right? So a number of foods can actually do that as well. Um, and it's just really cool. This is a new area of research of foods that actually stimulate regeneration. It's super delicious. Please give us a thumbs up. Share this video with your friends and family, and subscribe for more valuable content on health and wellness. Your support enables us to continue delivering essential information to assist you in leading a healthier life. Thank you for watching, and as always, I wish you excellent health, wealth and happiness, with the key to vitality in your hands.